Hello, I am Micah Summer, and you are watching the Micah Summer Variety Hour. Bum bum ba da dum bum 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 bum. Ba -da -dum. Today, I would like to talk about two things that I am rather fond of: science, which I don't know much about, but which I think is pretty cool, and journalism, which I would like to think I have some experience with. The problem is that when these two pretty cool things meet, the results are often deeply unfortunate. Which is too bad, because journalism is really all about explaining complicated things to everyday people, and science is all about complicated things that everyday people don't understand. So when people report poorly on science, or when people report on bad science, it makes me very sad. A case in point is MSNBC's The Body Odd, whose lead article is currently Watching Jersey Shore Might Make You Dumber, study suggests. Never mind that the study in question makes no mention of Jersey Shore or television. Here's another one. Teen brains can predict hit pop songs, study shows. The gist of this one is that adolescent brains react most positively to hearing clips of pop songs that then go on to appeal most strongly to adolescents. I love science! Too much coffee makes you hear voices. Study suggests... In this study, participants listened to static and were told to press a button whenever they heard Bing Crosby's White Christmas. It was never played. <laughs> but the participants who self-reported drinking more coffee were more likely to imagine having heard it. My favorite part of any science article, and this particular one does not disappoint, is the disclaimer paragraph that comes about three-fourths of the way down, and which basically admits that the study does not actually say what the article is saying the study says. It's worth noting here that there are some limitations to the study, writes the journalist who is not actually a member of the British Parliament saying that, yes, okay, things are self-reported, and that it may not mean that people are actually hearing things that aren't there, it just may mean that they're more likely to react to anything, or that they're more likely to tell people what they think they want to hear, or basically anything. This could mean anything. I'll give you one more article, and it's a doozy! What Jeopardy tells us about women and wagering. This study shows that Swedish women playing Swedish Jeopardy are more likely to bet less money on the Daily Double when their opponents are men than when their opponents are women. The difference, says one of the researchers, may be one explanation for the glass ceiling, but she doubts it is the only one. No, actually, um, no, actually, I can't think of any other explanations behind the systematic discrepancies in opportunities, pay, civil and human rights for women around the world than how Swedish women bet on Swedish Jeopardy. Thanks for solving the mystery, Swedish Institute of Social Research. From this comprehensive survey of four articles from one media website, it seems pretty clear that journalism and science cannot possibly mix. Study suggests. Until next time, I'm Micah Summer, and this is the Micah Summer Variety Hour. Bum, bum, ba-da-dum, bum, 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 bum. Ba-da-dum.